Hi you guys, this is Civil Disobedience bringing you the latest in reality TV reactions. I want you to comment below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel, Petty as Hell LaBelle. So tonight, Love and Hip Hop New York, Season 10, Episode 5, X's and O's aired. And thank God, Chrissy and Yandy and their tired ass beef was nowhere to be seen. In fact, I hope when they bring those two back, they keep them as far away from each other as possible so we can have something to watch other than them going back and forth about some lame ass incidents that happened eight years ago. So we open up tonight and basically Rich Jeniski and Fresher have a heart to heart. Really, it's Fresher who needs to get some things straight. And Jeniski asks him a very good question. How are you going to take care of business if you can't keep your baby mama intact? And I respect her for that. She's in the studio. We actually get to hear music from her off top. That's something I like because it shows that she's taking care of business and she's not allowing the drama to exceed or supersede the fact that she still wants to make music. And Rich was basic with her and saying that he wants to be exclusive. Fresh is saying he wants to be exclusive. And Jenna Ski really needs to side with Rich on this one. Even though we've seen in the past Rich be what he is called a creep and he was on the little creep squad. We can see how Rich has gr grown and gone into the music business as a notorious player. And I definitely think that Jenna Ski should keep her eyes on Rich and not on whatever this is Fresher has going on with Jen. Then we have Juju and Jonathan showing up to Sin Santana's apartment to let them know that Erica wants to play matchmaker. And I for one appreciate this because friends don't let friends go out in public on reality TV shows and they not know what's popping off. So they let her know, they let Sin know that Erica Min is trying to play matchmaker and I love Sin's reaction. She's like, so what was the point in Tahiri letting you all know that Erica is trying to hook her and Joe up? That was nothing but for the drama. I love that and I love the fact that she kept it centered on her and Joe and that Tahiri and Erica really have absolutely nothing to do with it. She lets them know that she's going to talk to Joe, but she's not going to allow herself to become upset and that's number one in everything. On to Remy Mind Papoose having a real family discussion on Remy having to go to Miami to finish this album. We're waiting on you, sis. And Papoose has music. I wish I could be excited about Papoose's music like I am Remy's. But I'm team Remy. And of course, Papoose is too. So he's like, well, I have to stay in New York. I have to get my things popping. And just because I don't like Papoose don't mean that somebody doesn't like him. Everybody knows who's, who Papoose is. And so... They're trying to decide on whether or not the baby should stay with Papoose or go with Remy. But of course, Remy is like, the baby needs to come with Mommy because Mommy has the breasts and the milk. And I just love seeing couples work together. I love seeing black parents, black couples actually living that life. And I definitely just have nothing negative to say about them. So Jenna Ski has the chance to go to the radio station. Rich hooks her up with that. We actually get to hear Sis drop those freestyle bars. She compares the time of her going with Rich and she freestyles too when she comes with Fresher and she only gets to hear him freestyle. And Rich lays it down on the line. He's like, I've given you two freebies. I've introduced you to executives and radio people. And here I am, I'm getting you on the radio to drop some bars. This is the, the end of the rope. I need you to commit to me or, you know, let this be that. And basically, she decides that she's rocking with Rich. 
And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I respect her for that. She needs to stay with Rich in her corner because Rich is obviously someone who gets a lot done. And I hate that he bull BS the, the other seasons on this show. So since Santana goes to see Joe and they have a conversation, she's in the studio. I'm not impressed by Sin's voice. However, it's not the worst. But the gist of the situation is that she explains to Joe that she wants to know what's going on with him and Tahiri. And what I like about the situation, Joe and Tahiri are making it very plain that they in no way are trying to disrespect Sin. And they are not trying to, to gather up into a relationship together. And so she just basically lets Joe know she's not the one to play with. But Sin, boo, we need you to go ahead and get yourself together and uh, let Joe come on back home or you come home or something, girl. And so we see where Safari, of course, woos Erica with roses and candlelit dinner and an awesome watch and of course she forgives him and if you guys are interested in forums on this topic brokensilence.net offers a uh, forum that you can comment on and give insight on I definitely like I feel like Erica and yeah Erica and Sin have a sit down about the entire situation and I feel like Erica really needs to watch herself because babe you're pregnant you're about to get married you don't need to plot against nobody's man but your own and so you guys this is all I have for you I'm ending with this great pick of Remy and Papoose because of course this is where I am with it I wish we had every couple that could give us that black love feel. But, of course, you know, we probably wouldn't watch if everybody was as happy as Remy and Papoose because we watch for the drama. But overall, I feel like, you know, the people that we really need to take some time out and pray for is Jen the Groupie Slayer. Um, Sis packed up fresher stuff because of what happened between her and Jenna Ski and how he, you know, basically pushed her out of the club, which is what he was supposed to do. He wasn't supposed to let his baby's mom act a fool in front of everybody over him, especially when he knows he's not doing anything. Um, but she basically admitted in the confessional scene that record execs helped her to become this insecure by saying that Fresher was better off being viewed as a single man. In fact, I've looked for pictures of Jen the Groupie Slayer and Fresher together, and I can't find any. And honestly, it's cool to know that people have been in a relationship from sixth grade up until today. I want sis to know, though, she's got a right to be known, okay? Okay. And just like these other well-known artists are putting out albums and claiming their baby moms, I feel like she needs to make sure that Fresha does the same with her. So this is what I've compiled, you guys. I want you to like the video, share, comment below. This is Civil Disobedience. Peace.